the DRC Z60, the Flying Dragon. Now I already checked out the DRC FX651, the two channel Eagle, and it flew pretty good. So I can't wait to check out this Z60 Dragon and see how good that flies. Oh, it's upside down. Check that out. So in the box, you find the Dragon. You get a set of landing gear with it, a little battery warning, a single page instruction manual, which it's just a two channel plane, very basic. You get a USB charger to charge your 3.7 volt, 350 milliamp hour single cell LiPos, and you get two of those. You get a spare set of propellers, a screwdriver, and a tool to remove the props. And then here is the controller. Enough about this. Let's get out and see how good this scaly little fella flies. All right, it is time to fly the Dragon. We'll tuck the battery in there. We'll do a ground takeoff using the landing gear. And then I like to fly these without the landing gear. We'll turn the controller on and we'll turn that on. Now you have to do the up down to bind it. Now we have a solid LED and a solid LED on the controller. We're gonna take off over here. The pavement up there was a little rough. I don't think these little wheels would have handled that too good. So it is downhill. So this should take off pretty easy. <laughs> okay, I take that back. Let's try it again. Come on. Oh, there we go. It, wow, that took a while to get up in the air. But when it's in the air, yeah, when it's in the air, it flies pretty good. So it is gyro stabilized. <laughs> awesome. That's cool. It flies, flies really nice. Just gotta be easy on the throttle. Try and not look in the sun. Actually, I'm gonna come over here while I'm flying around. Come over here in the shade where I started. I don't know if you can see it because it kind of blends in with the trees. So we're gonna have to go, there we go, a little bit higher. So give it a little more throttle and then that'll put you in the air a little bit higher. That's how the two channels work. Really quiet, you can hardly hear that it's, oh, looks like we have some birds that wanna fly around with. Yeah. No, nope. they went the other way. They said, we're not messing with this dragon. Let's bring it back down a little bit. Uh, such a nice flyer, yeah. So there's not much to this controller. You have a light switch right here, which I didn't see any lights on it. So that might be if you wanna put LEDs on afterwards, but this does not come with any LEDs other than the power the power light on there and then This is your high and low speed. So I assume we're in low. Let's let's click it. See what happens Now this doesn't change the speed these two channels. They don't change speeds What it does is it changes the stabilization. So right now this is full You know right turn as you can see not real hard banking. So let's click this. Up oh, two beeps. Let's see if if the turning gets a little bit tighter. Okay, I can't really tell. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> okay, one beep again. Two beeps. Oh yeah, yeah. You can see when. Yeah. Now one beep again. Now the turning isn't as tight. Yep, so that's what it does. It, it reduces the stabilization so that way you can fly and make, make tighter turns. Okay, let's, let's bring this back down here. Uh-oh, oh, come on, don't crash in a tree. <laughs> let's bring this over here. We'll crash it right here, right in front of me. Or maybe I'll catch it. Or not. Okay, let's take this landing gear out because I just like the way it looks without the landing gear. And then that gives us a chance to hand launch it. Yeah, hand launch is really easy.
<laughs> got pretty close with that one. Uh, actually, it clipped my hat. I got clipped by the wing. This is such, such a fun plane. I love these two channel planes. They're not too complicated. They're simple to fly. And this one flies really good. You get a great flight time and you get two batteries. Usually these planes, these two channel planes, you can easily get 15 minutes of flight out of one single battery and you get two. So you have at least a half hour of flying. It takes about 30 to 40 minutes for the battery to charge. So not a lot of downtime and with a usb charger like that you can plug into your car or a battery bank and you could be at the park for a while just flying around but it's very smooth flyer you don't get a lot of those fugoids or anything let's take it up let's let's take this dragon to the moon so it does climb kind of slow so it does take a while for you there is a little bit of weight to this plane but i am climbing slowly I, i'm full throttle so i i am full acceleration i am climbing but very slow you can still see the nose is tipped up a little bit so i am still climbing again it's taken a while to get up that high well that's pretty good that that's great range look at that i'm easily 300 feet in the air that's good enough for me it, you know, for a range test there, that's good enough for me. Let's let's cut the throttle there and just let it glide back down. This might take a while because it took a while to get that high. So it, it probably gonna take a while to come back down. Oh, it just got dive bombed by that one. We'll fly out over. Hopefully I don't, oh, it's attacking me. Just hoping I don't crash into the sunflowers. They'll be a little hard to, they'll be a little hard to find. Oh, I'm skimming the top of the sunflowers, but the battery is starting to. Oh, that's it. That's the battery right there. Not a bad flight time. So I got the second battery in. So let's let's keep flying. Let's bring it in. <laughs> so that was the DRC Z60. This has great flight time, great range, very stable. It looks awesome. Get yourself the Z60. If you want a really easy to fly park flyer or something to learn on, this would be a good one for you. So that'll do it for this video. Thanks for checking out the DRC Z60. So click that subscribe button so you can join me when I check out the next ready to run RC.